Hi, my name is Cliff Chatari and I want to tell you a story. A few years ago when I was at the university, I was robbed of my phone and um, of course, unlike today, by then, if you had a selfie that was close to a cleavage or even your boobs out, this was called a nude picture. And so I had one of those. I took this picture myself in my hostel room and trust me, nobody took this picture but me. A couple of days after three to four, I was robbed of this phone. And because I had been a public figure working on national television, when somebody got hold of this phone and they noticed it was me, it was a chance to make quick money. However, these people that got the phone first get, got in touch with a few people in order to get to me because remember that point I had no phone right anyway um, let's leave these people aside and go to the people that had the phone so anyway these people that had my phone get away managed to get away of getting in touch with me and they start to ask me for money so that I could buy my own pictures I started to pitch on for these pictures first day second day you know I didn't I didn't seem very concerned not until this one time they actually sent me one of my own pictures of course by then now I had another phone from the moment I saw myself and these people were now going to share my picture with the world I was overwhelmed with fear cannot describe it by the, the dictionary definition or even in a sentence because I can tell you that fear is something that I cannot describe but I very well know that we have once faced it and you know what it means to be overwhelmed by fear have you met a thief in the night that you get scared or were you close to an accident and you you got so scared that fear that overwhelms you so anyway I was overwhelmed with fear now I got this feeling on and off and I lived with it for a very long time from 2015 let's say at about August until 2016 in November I can tell you this was the hardest relationship that I had ever been in because when you are happy, it is a relationship with yourself. And when you are sad, it is a relationship that you have built with yourself. I lived with fear for close to one year. I think more than a year. Yes. However, this was on and off. And when that happened, so many things started to happen around my environment. I was very timid of everything and everyone. I started to have a low self-esteem because I was overwhelmed with fear and I was worried of people seeing me in the image that they were not used to seeing me. You know what I mean? And so this whole time I'm living with fear. I still loved myself. But because I was overwhelmed by something that took control of who I was, I could not stand firm to be the clave church highway that I even knew myself of. It's a very good thing that I'm not a kind of person who will who will spend my days and nights uh, in a particular place that you know I'm known for the bar or I'm known for, for the party or I'm known if I'm not at home, I'm at work. If I'm not at home, I'm at work. If I'm not at work, then I'm at home. In between, I'm on my way to either of those two points. So anyway, I lived with fear. I My mood changed. I started to have low self-esteem. I had less concentration. And here is the worst part. no one to talk to in 
the beginning of those three months, I finally went home because remember I told you that I was at the university, so I was living outside of um, of home. And so when I went back home, my mother looked at me and said, "Are you okay?" I said, "Yes, I'm fine." And she said, "No." What happened? Who has hurt you? Who has wronged you? And I'll just get a tissue. So, um, so, um, yeah, my mother tells me who has wronged you, who has hurt you, talk to me, and all that. And so I told her about the incident. I told her I took pictures of myself and somebody robbed me of my phone. You remember, she knew about it. She said, yes, and this is what was in the picture. She said, can you show me the picture? I showed her the picture. And she said, wow, you look good. <laughs> my mother told me, you remind me of myself. You know, this is what I looked like when I was about your age. So I believe that was the first time I laughed genuinely and I was so calm. And then she said, you know what? It's fine. We now have to find the people who have these images. So we managed to track down a few people. And so we got these boys, we put them in, we took them to police. I wrote a statement and you know, that was done and tested. And because uh, these pictures had actually been given to somebody or had been shared with somebody, this person wanted the pictures to be published more than, uh, I think more than the actual people that wanted them to be published in the first place. So anyway, this person says, you know, I think I'll find a way of, of publishing these pictures. So anyway, this person gets uh, gets gets other people, and they manage to publish these pictures. So when they did, I don't know if this is worthy. 